Hey kids, we now have Puppet Steve and all his friends in Lego form, available on Etsy.com. All right kids, today we've got a brand new case of the Minecraft minifigures, series 19. Oh cool, we have the new Earth series. Oh yeah, Earth, Earth, Earth. <laughs> yep, that's right, Zombie Steve. And that means we've got 13 all new figures to collect in this set. I can't wait to see what Steve figures we get this time around. Let's see, any Steves here? Nope, none there. And wait a minute, there's no Steves at all? Oh man, this is a travesty. I demand a recount. I need more Steves. Ooh, I saw a zombie in there. Oh yeah, zombies. Oh, be quiet, Zombie Steve. Ah. All right, well anyway, here we have the new set of the Minecraft Earth series, series 19, and we've got 12 new figures, plus a bonus 13th one, which they won't show us what it looks like. But uh, all right, let's open this first box up and see what figure we get, and ba-bam! Oh, we get the, uh, <laughs> the zombie with a chicken on his head. Oh man, look at that little figure. <laughs> a little zombie with a chicken on his head? Oh, that's pretty cool. You know what, if they keep doing cool figures like this, I don't mind if there's a Steve in this set. Yep, this figure is A-OK -okay by good old Steve. Oh, I just love zombies. Oh, yeah, especially with chickens on their head. <laughs> oh, zombie Steve. All right, let's get to the next one. Oh, I hope it's another zombie. Yeah, yeah, you and zombies. OK, let's grab the next box out of here and open this thing up. And ba-bam, we get a, a skeleton that's in love. <laughs> oh, man, look at all the hearts all around him. Oh, that's super cool. What's he holding there? Is that an apple? Oh man, it looks like he took a bite out of it and he's in love. But I do have to say it's a really cool figure, so yep, it's a welcome addition with all my other uh, skeleton figures. And holy cow, dude, we got a lot of them. <laughs> oh, we've come a long way since the uh, first skeleton that we've gotten. Oh man, so many skeletons. Skeleton Mickey, probably proud of that one, right, Skeleton Mickey? Uh, actually, I'm scared of all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that skeleton Mikey's such a pretty cat. Oh, man. Okay, we'll move right along to our next figure here. Let's see who we get this time. And the figure here is... Whoa, check it out! It's a mushroom cow, but a yellow mushroom cow? Aw, oh, cool, but instead of mushrooms, we get flowers on them. So would that be a moo flower cow? <laughs> I'm not sure, but oh, he's pretty darn cool. Especially if we compare him to a regular mushroom cow. Oh, neat. So, yep, looks like the exact same cow, only with uh, flowers growing out of them. Ah, oh, cool. Meow. Meow. Well, no matter how you slice it, both these guys belong in my farm. Yep, Farmer Steve at your service. Yep, so is Farmer Zombie Steve with chicken on head. <laughs> Zombie Steve, what are you doing? Uh, get out of here. How are you supposed to run a farm with a chicken on your head? <laughs> okay, let's check out our fourth figure here and hope it's something else for our farm. And next up is, it's one of those mushroom chickens. I'm not sure the exact name of this little chicky chicky here, but he's pretty darn cool because he's all red like a mushroom cow. So it's pretty cool, little mushrooms growing out of it, which makes him a lot different from the other chicken that we've gotten in past sets. So yep, I've got to say this is a really cool, colorful chicken to add into our little puppet steam farm. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it too. Oh yeah, more chickens. Buckle, 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 buckle. Oh, brother, that zombie Steve gets crazier by the day. Okay, let's check out our fifth figure here, which is, let's see. Oh, man, it's a new golem. Whoa. And this guy is called the Furnace Iron Golem, and for good reason, because, well, he looks like a furnace. <laughs> oh, man, so I guess he uh, generates heat? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So who needs this regular outdated furnace? Well, I can just use this upgraded Iron Golem furnace. <laughs> now he can keep us all warm throughout the winter time. Oh, cool. Oh, I love the fire. Yeah, keeping me warm. Oh, man, this is one cool series. All right, let's check out our sixth figure, which will bring us almost to the halfway point. And next up, we get, oh, a piggy for our farm. And not just a regular piggy, but we get a cute muddy pig. Oh, he's got a cute flower growing out of his head. He's rolling around in mud, which is a serious upgrade from the first piggy that we've gotten in series one. Oh, cute little piggies. <laughs> I just love it. So let's add him to our farm. And yep, Puppy Steve's farm is a growing. Okay, let's see who else we can add to our little farm here. And next up is, whoa, <laughs> getting a little carried away. It's a little uh, spawning creeper. Oh man, he's hatching out of his egg. Oh, those dark creepers. Oh, we can't have him in our farm. He's gonna blow everything up. 
Yep, sorry, Creeper. We're just gonna have to throw you outside or something. Yep, and good riddance. Bye-bye, Creeper. <laughs> oh, darn it. Uh, uh, me and my big mouth. Uh. Okay, give me something cool for my farm. And I don't want any more creepers, so let's see. Who do we get this time? And, oh man, a glow squid. <laughs> Not really something I need for my farm, but it is cool nonetheless. Oh, just look at this cool glow squid. And it kind of looks just like the regular squid, only different color because, well, he glows in the dark. Oh, cool. Well, anyway. I'm not sure where to add him in, in our farm, so I guess we'll have to add in a watering hole first, and then add him into our farm. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Yep, and I'm probably the first farmer to ever have a squid on his farm. So that makes me a trendsetter. <laughs> I love it. All right, kids, looks like we're down to our last row of these cool figures. And this time, we get the figure of... Oh, cool, check it out. It's a dyed kitty cat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The paint can fell on him, and now he's purple. Oh, that's so crazy. So, yep, there's a little kitty cat, which is always great for our little farms here. But before adding him in, let's see what else we get in this little blind bags. And next up is... Oh, a cute little ram. Oh, cool. This is a blue ram. And you know what? With all these little designs on him, kind of reminds me of the uh, sheep from the Greek series, because he's got similar designs all over his body. So, yep, pretty cool. It's probably where they got the inspiration for that. But, of course, anyway, you want to slice it. Well, this guy still looks cool on my little farm here, along with my dyed cat. <laughs> ah, cool. So, yep, my farm is a-growing. Okay, looks like we're down to our final three figures, which is awesome because, oh, man, this review is getting kind of long. All right, next up we get... Oh, check it out. Oh, man, it's the melon golem. <laughs> oh, you just gotta like that because instead of a snow golem, like we're used to in the past, we've got a melon golem. Oh, and just look at that face. Oh, I love it. Oh, man, it looks so cool. Yep, kind of the uh, distant cousin of the snow golem. Oh, what a welcome addition to our little uh, collection here. Puppet Steve, are you really comparing this melon headed moron to me, the awesome snow golem? Uh, yeah. What? Oh, my, for crying out loud. Oh, man, I am so upset right now. <laughs> oh, man, I guess he doesn't really like that guy. Oh, man, that's no golem. Oh, so funny. The only downside is if we put him on our farm, uh, he doesn't really fit in. <laughs> oh, man, get out of here. Little... Okay, so anyway, let's grab our another figure out of here. And this time we get the... And oh man, look at that! Oh, we got a skeleton wolf! Oh, that's super creepy! Half wolf, half skeleton! <laughs> he looks great! But of course, the only downside is, well, he should have been part of that spooky series, which I think was series 10 or something. Yep, because we got all kinds of skeleton pigs and whatnot, but, uh, oh, that's alright. We'll just add him into this set to add him to our collection. And of course, uh, yeah, I don't think he would fit into my farm very well, so, oh, sorry, buddy. You're gonna have to stay on the sidelines. All right, kids, we're down to our very last figure here, and the only one left to find is that bonus figure, so I hope that's it, not a duplicate. So drum roll, please, and... Oh, cool, ta-da! We have our bonus figure, which is the Tropical Slime Cube. Wow, check it out. <laughs> it doesn't get more tropical than that. We have all kinds of little fishies on the sides of this guy. And does he have a face? Oh, there it is, <laughs> on the last side I look at, of course. But yep. There he is, the Tropical Slime Cube, which is blue in color, which makes him a really cool variant of the uh, Slime Cube that we got in what, Series 4, I think it was? So yep, he's definitely a cool Slime Cube, blue in color. That's different from all the other Slime Cubes that we've got in the past. So now all we need is a little three set of those Tropical Slime Cubes. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. But yep, there it is, the blue rare figure of the Slime Cube, which if you find him, Congratulations, you've got the mystery figure. All right, kids, well, there they are. All of Series 19 come at you from the Earth set, which are 13 figures in all. And of course, the only downside is we didn't get a good old Steve figure to add to this collection. Aw, oh, man. But on the plus side, well, we did get all these really cool figures, and that's all right, because they look great. All right, kids, well, this Earth series is out now at Target's and Walmart, so make sure you check your local stores to pick them up and good luck on finding that bonus figure because they look great. <laughs>